Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that needs no fuel or electricity to operate. It has two valves and a pressure tank activated by falling and flowing water. Uh, I sell four different sizes of these on the Land the House website. Links in the description down below. It's 50 degrees out here, fall time. And so this is the last ram pump video of 2021. So I got an email saying, if you have to put your intake in the creek at a very specific spot and the pump has to be in a very specific spot but there's too much head pressure for the lift that you've got what if you add a standpipe on the waste valve to reduce the head pressure thought that was a really awesome idea so that's going to be the concept for today i have an idea that it's going to work but if you go too tall the pressure wave might have some weird stuff if it's traveling too far from up here back down to the pump so it'll be interesting to try out so let's go ahead and jump to this it's cold so <laughs> let's get it done quick i'm going to use this five gallon bucket with float valve as the source normally you would use a creek or small river i'll have a half inch drive pipe that goes down this hill it's a little over seven feet of drop down to the road so let's just say this is the only place your screened intake could go and that's the only place that the ram pump could go but you're only wanting to lift to the porch up here so what would happen normally is this is too much drop it would try to push too much water out of the pump too quickly and it would not reach up there now if for some reason it does reach up there i'll just bring the hose down some until it stops and then we will add the pipe on top of the waste valve to reduce the head pressure and hopefully we'll get this thing to work at a good head pressure to lift ratio. My water source is filling up, which actually is from my other ram pump down in the creek. And I just got that outlet over here in the garden space. And it just uh, will fill up this bucket until that valve closes. Like that. And uh, anyway, I need to connect the garden hose there and we'll be ready to test this thing. Time to turn on the drive pipe by turning this valve right here. Water's gonna flow down there. Now I've put some water in the delivery pipe already, so hopefully the pump will start pretty quick. Let me open that up. Whenever I push this valve down, hopefully we'll get some cycles pretty quick. The pressure tank has to fill up with water real quick too. I didn't totally fill up the delivery pipe. So what's happening now is water is coming down to the waste valve. Whenever it cycles, it pushes a little bit of water into the pressure tank, which then sends the water uphill and out the delivery. But for right now, it's having to fill up the delivery pipe until it reaches the top. Now, because we have so much input head pressure, it may start pouring out of the top and never actually cycle the pump, which is what we're going for. Hopefully we'll be able to see that. And so what's gonna happen is I will need to add a pipe from this uh, T down here up and that will reduce the head pressure as it goes up. So that is kind of the concept of this video. So I'm going to keep an eye on the delivery up top and see when water starts coming out and if it continues to cycle or just this, uh, does this right here where it doesn't cycle. The pump is now cycling on its own. It is sending water all the way up to the top here. I don't know if my zoom will be able to show you any water actually falling down or not. Nah, too far away. But uh, so what we need to do is bring that hose down the hill some to a point where it stops the pump so we can do this test. I removed the second hose that was all the way up here at the porch and now our delivery is going to right here, which is maybe about 10 feet or so height difference between the bucket source and right there so now we can demonstrate that pressing this valve several times is hopefully never going to start 
because water will be coming out of there. And I do see it. Let me see if I can zoom up there good enough for you. It may still be too far away again for you to see that water coming out. But anyway, so because the head pressure is too great and the back pressure on the delivery pipe is not great enough, the pump is never going to cycle unless you either uh, close this off some or reduce your head pressure or increase your lift. So the idea now is to increase the waist valve height by who knows how much to reduce the head pressure so that we can get an output at that point. I've got a half inch pipe here. Let's go ahead and do about two feet and see if that's gonna be enough reduction to uh, get our water up to that point. All right, there we go. I'm gonna close off the drive pipe, hopefully be able to unscrew the waste valve. Let's see, I also need to remove that. I recently had a couple of comments saying that lately my videos have not been very well thought out. And I would just like to say that my personal life has got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm reading court documents for an upcoming case and uh, basically all my YouTube videos are filmed in one day and I pay my sister to uh, watch my kids while I work. And so uh, sometimes I just don't have much time to get stuff done. So I've got this two foot pipe here coming up to the new waste valve height. Let's see if this is even going to work. You ready? All right, water shot up. <laughs> well, that's gonna be an issue. So I did not glue this new stand pipe and it just popped right off of there. So uh, because of limited time, I may uh, just hold it down here while we cycle. And here we go. All right, I'm gonna see if the pump will cycle with the delivery closed. Yep, there we go. Let me open it, see what happens. It's hard to tell if there's water coming out of that up there. Oh yeah, for sure. Let me go up here and show you what it looks like whenever I cycle this. You can see how much water flows out the top. As I push the waste valve down, water comes out the delivery pipe, but the pump will not cycle on its own, which means we need to go higher on that waste valve stand pipe. Well, that hill, I've hiked it so many times. I've gotta go pick up the kids, and so we'll come back after I get them and wrap up this test. All right, the kids are back home now. It's uh, dropped down to 46 out here. If only there was something you could put around your arms and legs to keep you from getting cold. If you have any ideas, maybe you could invent something. All right, so I uh, just cut a pipe here that's about twice as long, and that should hopefully get us to cycle here without any uh, problems. Okay, this significantly reduces our input head pressure. Let's see what we get here. All right, it is cycling, but it's slow. I see output, this is nice. Okay, and I bet if I turn this over here, it'll cycle a little bit easier. Nope, just turns it off. All right, so definitely sensitive here. All right, can I let go of it is the question. Maybe. All right, let's walk up here and see the output. Uh oh, it just stopped. <laughs> I think maybe it's uh, shaking a little bit and that's the problem. Uh, let me tilt this whole thing over some. Maybe like that, and hopefully it will continue to cycle. Oh 
Okay, let's go up here and see the output. Check it out. We managed to uh, reduce the input head pressure by keeping the initial head pressure and pump location the same. I think we're either getting some shake on this tall standpipe or we're still not high enough up. Probably still not high enough up because like if you look at head height right here, uh, well, from this point, straight across level, there's still at least three feet of input head pressure and we're not going very high right there. So probably another, I don't know, one foot, two foot would get us up there. This was a very fun test. I'm glad I got this in an email. If you have some ideas like this that you want to have on the channel, then send me an email, landahouse at gmail.com, and I will see about testing them. I'll probably put them down on the list because it's 40 something degrees out, I'm supposed to drop below freezing tonight, and I'm probably not gonna test too much more of this kind of ramp pump thing this year. Now, earlier I mentioned that this is the last ramp pump video of the year. I do hope to finally get to some winter weather ramp pump stuff. I'll probably break some of them as I'm freezing them, but it should be fun to learn how they operate in the cold. But anyway, so this was a, uh, a random video. I had not planned on filming, but we did, and it turned out that it works. So you can keep your source water in a specific spot, your ram pump in a specific spot, and reduce the head pressure by going up like this. You would probably want to put a board up here to lock this down so it doesn't shake around. Um, now, what is a practical application for this? Let's say you had a waterfall and you needed to come off of the waterfall and have the pump resting on the ground and that was your only head pressure, but it was too much. You could just extend this pipe up a little bit, reduce it so that you know if you're not pumping up very high, then you can uh, just easily do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you love ramp pumps, be sure to subscribe, notification bell, and leave me a comment down below. Uh, I know it's uh, November of uh, 2021, and last year I commented or responded to 16,000 comments, and this year I probably only responded to about 8,000. Um, just didn't have time, but I do read them all. So leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm sick, my kids are sick, and uh, I'm gonna go sit in the house and watch some TV. I build and sell four different sizes of ram pump, ship them all over the world all year long. So if you need one for your very own, check the links in the description below for landahouse.com and Amazon.